as opposed to double sideband modulation which requires a carrier and both the upper and lower sideband to be transmitted. Single sideband modulation only requires either the lower or the upper sideband to be transmitted. It only needs half the bandwidth of a double sideband modulation. An envelope detector is a circuit that uses a diode, capacitor, and a resistor. It takes a high-frequency signal as its input. The envelope of the original signal is the output of the of an envelope detector. Basically, an envelope detector is a half-wave rectifier followed by a low-pass filter. It is used for demodulating AM signals. The first use of the envelope detector was in 1971. NASA Huntsville used a program that detects bearing defects, but this approach was not capable of detecting onset of bearing defects. The discovery of high frequency vibration in this envelope detection was all, almost accidental. This program effectively detects early signs of bearing faults. This technique was used for the following 5 to 10 years. A software envelope detector may be developed by the use of the Hilbert transport. Hilbert transforms are extensively used in the analysis and signal processing in passband communication systems. The Hilbert transform of a X of T is denoted by X hat of T. The Hilbert transform is defined by the following integral, where the asterisk represents convolution. As a variation to the basic single sideband case, a carrier can be added to an SSB signal to use an envelope detector. A cosine omega C T is the carrier. The SSB signal is M of T cosine omega C T minus plus M sub H sine omega C T, where M sub H is the Hilbert transform of the modulating signal. Simplifying the function by factoring out cosine omega c. The function now becomes the E of t cosine of omega c t plus the phase shift. Where E of t is the envelope. E of t is given by the square root of the sum of the squares of the amplitudes of the carrier and the modulating signal and the amplitude of the Hilbert transform of the modulating signal. The phase shift is given by the arctangent of the ratio of the magnitude of the Hilbert transform of the modulating signal and the sum of the amplitudes of the carrier and the modulating signal. If the amplitude of the carrier is greater than the amplitude of either the modulating signal or its Hilbert transform, the envelope can be approximated as follows. Using a series expansion and discarding higher order terms due to m over a less than 1, we obtain An envelope detector consists of a diode and an RC circuit, which is simply a low-pass filter. At the positive half cycle of the input signal, the diode conducts and the capacitor charges up to the peak value of the input signal. 
At the negative half cycle of the input signal, the diode becomes reverse biased and the input disconnects to the output. At this point, the capacitor discharges slowly through the resistor R. On the next cycle, the diode becomes forward biased as the input signal exceeds the voltage across the capacitor. Thus, the process repeats. The time constant RC must be selected to follow the variations in the envelope of the modulated signal. If the time constant is too large, then the capacitor will discharge too slowly. Thus, the output will not follow the envelope. If the time constant is too small, the output filter falls very rapidly after each peak. Thus, it will not follow the envelope closely. For an envelope detector to have a good performance, the time constant should be greater than the inverse of the carrier frequency, but less than the inverse of the modulating frequency. The advantages in using envelope detector is that this technique is highly used in AR receivers as it is very cheap and simple. The circuit acts as a linear detector as the output varies per voltage of input and the distortion here is very little. The disadvantages of an envelope detector are it is more susceptible to noise than a product detector. Also, if the signal is overmodulated, distortion will occur. Another disadvantage is the input should be bandpass filtered around the desired signal or else it will demodulate several signals. Comparing the advantages to the disadvantages, the disadvantages are negligible. Hence, these circuits are widely used for AM detection. The figure shows a single sideband envelope detection receiver. The signal is received through the antenna. The RF amplifier and preselector is used to detect RF signals, to limit the bandwidth and to amplify the input signal. The RF input signal becomes a single sideband reduced carrier. A portion of the RF carrier is inputted to the carrier recovery and frequency synthesizer. The signal is inputted to the RF mixer which down converts the RF frequencies to a common intermediate frequency. This section is a local oscillator which produces its own frequency. This frequency is used to tune the frequency of the output signal. This process is called heterodyning. The signal now becomes an intermediate frequency, single sideband, reduced carrier. The IF amplifier and bandpass filter amplifies and selects the intermediate frequency. The output signal is combined with the IF carrier. The signal becomes an intermediate frequency, single sideband, full carrier, which is the input to the envelope detector. The envelope detector extracts the original envelope of the input signal, thus information is demodulated. The ripple effect is a problem that occurs in an envelope detector circuit which is due to the discharging of the capacitor in small amounts between the successive peaks of the input AM wave. Given a carrier frequency FC, and an envelope detector with a time constant equal to R times C, the time between successive peaks of the carrier will be. Each peak will charge the capacitor to a certain voltage that is proportional to the modulated amplitude of the AM wave. After each peak, 
the capacitor voltage will be discharged to, which is approximately the same as the peak to peak size of the ripple delta V will therefore be the sudden large reduction in the amplitude of the AM wave means that the capacitor is in charge fully for each cycle peak. The capacitor voltage therefore falls exponentially until it reaches a smaller, new peak value. The capacitor voltage then declines according to This is called the negative peak clipping where any rapid reduction in the AM wave's amplitude are rounded off and the output becomes distorted. Envelope detectors are often used as a component of other circuits. It is sometimes referred to as an envelope follower in musical environments. This is an example of an ARP envelope follower. It takes the amplitude of a given signal and converts it to a voltage. The control voltage varies with respect to the amplitude. This device controls the function in a synthesizer. An envelope follower is part of the sidechain circuit of a compressor or an Ottawa. This is an example of a compressor. It reduces the volume of loud sounds or amplifies quiet sounds by compressing a signal's dynamic range. An Ottawa is a type of Wawa FX pedal that is used with electric guitars, bass guitars, and electric pianos. This is the effect produced by an Ottawa. Nothing's impossible through music.